All right guys, today I'm gonna to show you why some of your batteries leak acid and some of your batteries just don't last long, right? So all you need is a volt, so, uh, a voltmeter and a little screwdriver. So let's set it to volts DC and let's go ahead and stick that on the wall. So step number one is you always find the power supply. This is the power supply for this device here and your battery so we went ahead and pulled the old battery out put the new battery in but before we connect it to troubleshoot right just to kind of confirm some things you want to follow the battery leads and that'll be these last two terminals and all you do is just put these on and you're just metering the voltage right so you're metering the amount of power that these batteries are receiving if you look at that 16 volts is a bit much um yeah we're gonna turn this down so pretty much if you look right here, every power supply will have it. This is a potentiometer. And basically what they do is, as these capacitors go bad, as the coils age and the copper gets a little corroded, right? The power supply is gonna just put out a little bit less power over time. So they put this in, instead of like a resistor like this, they put one in that is adjustable. So in theory, let's just put it like there maybe. But in theory, when they ship it to you, if it was set hypothetically there, and let's say over five, 10 years, this power supply is only able to push out 11 volts, you just bump it up and it's back to, you know, 12 volts, 13 volts, and you can get more life out of it. As opposed to if there was a resistor, it would actually just keep degrading, the resistor pops and you throw it out. So, a little backstory here, but let's go ahead and check it out and see where we are now. So we're at 14 and a half. I would probably go down just a little bit more. Because remember, these batteries, you want to keep them at 12 and a half volts or so. 13, I guess, is 13 is fine. But you don't want to go too much. So 13, we'll leave it there. That's a good happy right there. So now what's going to happen is, as you hook up your battery, it's only going to put out maximum 13 volts up here. So I think what was happening with the other batteries is over the course of its lifetime, it would just sit at 16 volts for five years or obviously less, but, and that would just make the acid leak out because even though they're non-spillable, there's still acid in there. So we're gonna go ahead and put these terminals on and just kind of see what the battery's doing. So 12.8, see the voltage went down a little bit because the battery's actually below 13 volts, so it's 12.8. If we wait long enough, it'll be 12.81. And as it charges it up to 13 volts, it'll settle out maximum 13 volts. There it is, there's 81. So basically it's charging this battery up a little higher than 12 volts, which is fine. But that kind of troubleshooting or maintenance can definitely save your batteries, save your power supply, and save your entire device, so something to keep an eye out but yeah if you guys found this useful uh, let me know down in the comments if you guys have other suggestions let me know